Well, I'm joined by Alex from Simply. Thank you for joining us, Alex. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. No problem. Well, uh, for those who don't know, first of all, tell us a little bit about Simply and what it is that you guys do. And um, then we'll, uh, we'll talk about something called Simply Workspace after that as well. Yeah, that sounds great. So Simply is, a, is a, a global distribution brand. If you're not familiar with global distribution, it's a 25-year-old uh, distributor uh, based in the UK um, with offices around the world and recently an office in, in the US and I work out of, out of that office. Uh, we are a specialized distributor. So I would say in the US, we call those value-added distributors. We specialize in products for media and entertainment, uh, among other areas, but mostly media and entertainment. And the brand has been a very well, uh, well accepted over the years, especially in the UK. And in the US, Simply is a company that we formed, uh, you know, now it's close to five years ago. And uh, we've been very well accepted as well. We've been specializing in what we'll call the medium size uh, post and broadcast production uh, portion of the industry, mainly in what we'll call the storage uh, workflow. So it's been based around a shared storage. We're kind of unique in that all of our systems are based on uh, virtualized technology. So future proof, if you want to call it that. Uh, we also uh, are based using a technology called Storenext. So it's the industry leader in sharing technology. So we, we build sharing storage solutions. But as you said, we have something brand new that, that changes the rules a little bit. And that's what I hope we can talk about today. Brilliant. Yeah, so let, let's do that. So uh, Simply Workspace, uh, give us the, uh, the rundown on what it's all about. Well, it's pretty simple. It's a workspace. Now, what does that mean? Um, it's an expandable desk side multi-user storage solution that connects a number of individual users and their computers via Thunderbolt uh, to, uh, to a, a lot of storage. So essentially, uh, it's, it's a little different than, than what you normally see. So in today's market, you have three types of systems that you can use if you want to do media production all the way from ingest through delivery and manage all the assets that are out there. And what a lot of people do today is they fall into two categories. They fall into a category of what we'll call the NAS attached or where you have a central storage and you have a number of users and they generally copy the content over, work locally on the content, push it back to the central store where they both can ingest the content and deliver the content. And sometimes what will happen is you'll have a workflow that uh, you know we, we consider it a back step from where people have been over the last few years, but that workflow is somewhat confusing in that you could have multiple people grabbing the same content, doing different edits on the content. And when the content comes back, you end up having multiple versions. So it's a little scary from that, but it's usually inexpensive. It's based on ethernet. It's, it's pretty easy to plug it in, it just works. But with that, you have a lot of compromises. And, and the reason we're seeing that is more independent productions, more in-house users are finding that that's a cheap way to go. And it's really the only way to go if you don't want to just do one of the other three uh, types here, which is uh, what we still call sneaker net shuffling hard drives around, you know, we've all done it. It's it's something that we do. It's flash drives and it's thumb drives, depending on the size of the content. But you move it around between computers and your organization and you can social distance really well that way in today's world. But the problem with that is again, multiple versions, the chance of dropping a hard drive, losing the content. You know, there's just a number of reasons you don't want to do that. Plugging and unplugging, desk space, just terrible. Uh, the third way is, of course, the way most of us grew up doing it, which is really where you have one centralized storage, what people call a SAN or storage area network, where everything centralizes in. You have a very high speed interconnect between your workstations and your, your central storage. And generally, your central storage allows you to do ingest and delivery and media asset management at the same time. But with that, the problem is the interconnect technologies. So for the most part, the SAN or storage area networks are fiber channel interconnect. And, and while I think fiber channel is the best interconnect, no loss, high performance, everything good about it, the problem is it's costly and difficult. And, and you know, difficult is a relative term. If you understand it, it's really easy. You know, it's like I always say, if you're a mechanic, you can fix your car, but if you just drive it, you probably wanna bring it to someone to do. Fiber channel's that way. 
But yeah. the nice thing about that is that you have virtually unlimited bandwidth. You can grow your bandwidth as you need to, and you have no loss. So you can guarantee an order delivery of content, which better basically means you're not going to drop frames. The latency is very low. So I am a fiber channel fan, but I also understand that it's really, really difficult. So those two ways are generally what people do. There are people building quote unquote ethernet SANs, but those are no guaranteed in order delivery. They they work most of the time, but just when you need it at that deadline, it's going to let you down. It, it just, the technology is just not designed for that. So we took a, a different tack. We, we had seen Apple and others start to embrace Thunderbolt and, and simply was one of the early Thunderbolt uh, adopters. We, um, we built the first uh, true Thunderbolt storage area network with the Simply Workspace when we introduced it uh, a little over a year and a half ago. And uh, it took off really well. People really loved the idea of it. The idea you could take this simple, easy connection, just a standard cable that you would plug into a Mac or a PC. Usually those ports are built in and you would just plug that into a Simply Workspace. You already have ethernet and interconnects there as well because people you know, use the internet and tools like that. But the nice thing is with Thunderbolt, it gives you all the advantages of fiber channel with none of the hassle. Anybody can plug a cable in, you can buy an Apple Thunderbolt cable and you can just plug it in. And the idea around, around workspace was that, you know, you could have four or eight users, Macs and PCs just plug in and everybody would work together. And everybody initially said, well, the problem is Thunderbolt's really short. You know, if you have them at home, your cables are generally three meter at the most, but uh, Corning, our good friends uh, who build a lot of glass and, 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 and fiber products, they came up with uh, extended cables and the Thunderbolt 3 standard changed it all from a performance standpoint very, very fast. And today we can offer the workspace with either optical or copper and there's, there's no cost difference on our end and on the workspace, on the, on the workstation end, it's just a, a different cable you buy and they're relatively inexpensive today. And you can go 150 feet or 50 meters. I mean, that's that's huge. That gets the social distancing out of the way in today's world and, and where we live. But the workspace itself is kind of a unique product. As I mentioned, it's expandable. It's desk side, so you don't have to spend the money on racks. And the reason we did this is because that that gap between these high end SANs and these lower end NAS needed to be filled with something, and we wanted to fill it with something that was at the NAS price, but had the SAN performance. And the only compromises we made were the number of users you could have. We felt for small work groups and independence and in-house uh, production, you, you never really had more than eight users. So we limited that, but because it's desk side, you're not spending the money on racks and infrastructure, things that newer companies, smaller post facilities, they have better ways to spend their money, like paying their employees, um, you know, having nice facilities, doing all the things you want to do, investing in the company, not necessarily in infrastructure that we don't see every day. I mean, let's face it, storage is important to our production, having high speed ways of being edit, able to edit, do color correction, audio, do all the post-production processes all the way from ingest to delivery and even archive. You know, we don't touch that a lot. We, we mainly work on the apps that are on our, on our, our workstations, whether it's, you know, it's Resolve or Premiere or Final Cut, you know, even even the, the, just some of the Adobe apps that we use on a daily basis. So people see those and we wanted to give users flexibility from a connection standpoint and Thunderbolt was ideal for that. It's fast, it's friendly, it's flexible. It's just right there. And the nice thing about it is that multiple users can use the same content without copying it. So you don't have any version control issues because you're not copying the content. It all stays in one central location and then all the users can talk to it. And it's very well controlled because we use, as I mentioned before, the quantum design Stornext. It's a Stornext 6 version that we're shipping today. And that gives you guaranteed safety and sharing. It's the industry leader. Every, every one of the large studios, every one of the uh, large broadcasters all use Stornext because it just works. But with the upgraded, with the upgraded workspace, we, we've taken a few things and we've, we've, added them listening to our customers inputs so our customers asked us they said to us well 
you know, the workspace is great. I plug it in, I, I use it. It just sits on the on a desk side. You know, I don't have to worry about the infrastructure. I can, for users that are in a small work group, I can just run standard Thunderbolt cables for users that are that are out in edit bays or, or remote from, uh, from our central location. I can use uh, Corning optical cables. So that's all great. But the thing is, since this system is so powerful, they wanted to do more with it. So they wanted to have a way that they could basically do everything from ingest to archive all in the same system and have it self-contained. And, and we didn't understand why they wanted to do this because with our other products like the Simply Ultra, which is our much higher end fiber channel and ethernet based SAN, you, you have the flexibility of, of having a large ecosystem of products. In fact, we have a Simply ecosystem and uh, that's pretty large. And we also take advantage of the quantum ecosystem for the most part because of Stornex. So, you know, if you're looking at things like media asset managers, there's 50 of them. You know, you can choose any of them. But what people told us is that this very, very low price system, they wanted to have it all built in. And so we took a completely different way of doing this than most people do. We just didn't bolt something on top. We worked with a number of different vendors and asked our customers, and by far, they all chose something called Axel. And uh, we're all familiar with the principles of Axel for a long time, great company, and they had a new product called Axel AI. And what we did is we actually integrated it into the workspace. And integrate's a big word, what does that mean, right? So I mentioned that uh, early on that all Simply products are virtualized. And so what that really means is that we do have a computer built in to these storage systems that we run um, a virtual a virtual machine or multiple virtual machines on top of. And this gives us the capability of better reliability, better performance, kind of future proof. We can update on the fly, do it remotely, all those cool things you get with virtualization. The reason that IT organizations in the whole cloud runs in a virtualized manner. It, it's just smart. And so what we actually did is we built a virtual machine on top of the Simply Workspace, and we just put Axel AI right in it. So now it's completely part of the system. So small and, and medium post, post facilities now get the advantage of a world-class media asset manager built right in. So they, you know, I, I can't even tell you how easy Simply Workspace is. You basically take it out of the box, you just do a little bit of configuration, I mean, literally, seconds of configuration and Axel AI pops up, all your clients pop up and you're basically running, that's it. So everything from ingest to delivery and archive, everything is there. Whether you're, whether you're, 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 you're building a schema for your, um, which is very simple to do uh, for your assets or your, your logging assets or you're managing them, finding them anywhere, using all Axel's built-in AI tools so you can you can do all that on one system now. So this keeps the data safe. You know, it's RAID protected. It's up and running in 15 minutes. And we have multiple redundant technologies built into the system. And including with Axel AI now, from, from an upgraded standpoint, we just made it way easier to, to work with. We have something on it called the Simply Workspace Assistant. It's just a tool that's web-based that you can tell the health and, and how how much usage you put on the system uh, instantly. We can we can manage uh, all the clients. Uh, I just, just I, I could spend an hour talking about it, but it's so <laughs> simple to use. That's what really makes it nice. And it, it bridges this gap so well between these low cost systems that have so much compromise and these high end SAN systems that are just, you know, too too hard for people to afford. So these systems start very inexpensively they're up and running in minutes and they do everything that people really want to do. I mean, the flexibility is there and we built it in a future proof manner. So we have tools like our Simply Conveyor that allow you to, to sync and transfer content over long distances. It works right with Simply Workspace. So you could actually build multiple small work groups today, save a lot of money and actually manage all the content together using the tools we built in. So that's, you know, my couple of minutes on Simply Workspace. Did I bore you to death with that? That's, that's, that's very impressive. I'll tell you what, if people didn't know about Simply Workspace before they started, they certainly do now. Alex, that's brilliant. Thank you very much. Um, what we need to know is where can people find out more information if they want to contact you guys, want to learn a bit more about 
Simply Workspace and Simply, what's the website they can go to? That's great. Well, I, I would say one more thing on it is that Simply Workspace isn't just for small post facilities as well. It's fantastic for people who want to do remote DIT in other areas. And, and we, we would love to show them that. Uh, they can reach us easily at, at gosimply.com. That's uh, uh, simply S-Y-M-P-L-Y.com. So gosimply.com is the easiest way to reach us. And we'd love to hear from you. Brilliant. Alex, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, people, if you want to find out more about Simply Workspace and Simply, just go and have a look at their website link on screen. And for more from us here, you can find all that at kitplus.com.